Alrighty guys, welcome to another Hades 2 video. Now in this one I wanted to quickly give my thoughts on the weapons and weapon aspects in the game. Uh, we are of course still waiting for down the road the fourth aspect of each weapon and I'm sure it's gonna be phenomenal just like it was in the first game. But for now we have three weapons or aspects for for each uh, each of the weapons, right? You have the weapon and two aspects. Now we're gonna start with the Let's say we'll start with the staff. Um, spoiler alert, there aren't any trash aspects in the game, right? So, aspect of Mal I think is A tier. I think it doesn't do anything wrong, but it doesn't do anything special. It just has, your, your charged up moves are 30% faster, which can be really good. It just depends on your build, of course, but it can be really good. There's nothing wrong with this weapon. Uh, let's do aspect of Momus. So, aspect of Momus, I think is is a tier as well. It doesn't do something that is so powerful that it deserves to be S tier, which is just the best of the best. Um, it basically, if you don't know, I have all the weapons as you can see uh, maxed out and everything. So I'll just quickly go through what they can do in case you don't know yet, or in case you're watching this in preparation for playing the game later on. Um, so when you use your Omega moves, your, your charged up moves, there's basically a delay of at max 1.5 seconds and your attack will explode up to 3 times, right? And uh, I mean it's good, like I said, also depends on your build, but it is, it is powerful, there's nothing wrong with it, you can definitely do some good runs with it. Uh, aspect of Cersei, now I do think this one deserves s tier if i can hit it okay there we go uh because this one after you hit your attack or special so basically just by being in combat and hitting enemies you they you then gain serenity and what serenity does is it ups your omega moves damage by 120 percent while serenity is active it's honestly a pretty big deal it's uh you know it's 120 percent extra damage every 12 hits and there is um there's an upgrade um, in which you can actually attack way faster. It's one of the, the hammer upgrades, if you know, you know. So if you have that, you will get Serenity much quicker. And this is a very, very powerful weapon to use. Uh, the Sister Blades. The Aspect of Mel, I'm going to put in B tier. Maybe I'm still being being too nice. I, I don't know. Um, it doesn't do anything wrong per se but it's just i really don't like it uh i i don't like playing this thing backstab damage 40 percent okay but it's like how often are you gonna get backstabs unless you're really paying attention to it and i don't want to do that i don't want to you know I'd, <clears throat> I'd rather pay attention on on all of the enemies and the enemies attacks rather than trying to hit them in a specific uh spot or position I, I don't like this thing, but it, it's just my opinion at the end of the day. You could love it. It's it's fine. I just don't see it work that well in most builds. Uh, aspect of Artemis, where you channel your attack faster and you will occasionally parry. Now, I think it's a tough one. Uh, I think bottom of A tier, honestly. Uh, it's just, I don't know, man. The... The Omega attack speed of plus 60% is nice, but the only reason it's there is so that you can charge it way faster to then get the parry. But the parry in turn is... Uh, it's its only occasional. It's not guaranteed that you're going to parry. Um, I think if it was a guarantee, this thing would be way better. And before you say like, oh, that would be broken. Not really, because in Hades 1 you have the shield. And if you hold the button down and you charge the shield then Zagreus can actually just keep any attack at bay so it would be the same thing essentially so I think this this should be not occasionally this should be like always or almost always and then this would be a lot higher but then we have the aspect of pan now I'll give this right now at least the top of S tier for some reason I can't click all right there we go uh, yeah, aspect of pan. Your special seeks foes in your casts, and 
when it's maxed out you get five extra knives that you're throwing essentially and uh, if you upgrade your cast as well as your specials of course then this build will do insane damage and you will always hit your target with this because the the blades on this on this weapon they fan out when you throw them but with the aspect of pan they all focus on the target you want to hit and it's just a lot of damage a lot of single target damage from this weapon uh, very very powerful against bosses and that's why I love this thing let's do these next so Mel's aspect creates uh, flames from your Omega special they burn longer before they expire it's a little lackluster um, I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with it I would put it above the sister blades but I mean yes it's nice that they burn longer but still there's not that many builds that this works with that well right now unless you get like a really hard hitting special like from Apollo or Hera but you know it is a, a rogue lag at the end of the day there is RNG involved so um, aspect of morals your attacks linger and then they can explode later on if you hit them with a special I would say this one climbs up to the top of A there's nothing wrong with it there but it's not special enough like it's not hard hitting enough to be S tier I wouldn't say it's as good as uh, Cersei or Pan I think it's just uh, it's nice it does a lot of area damage uh, so it's very good for fast room clears but it's still kind of slow compared to the other best uh, room clearing weapon in the game which we will get to in a bit and for that reason I have to put it A tier but I, I'd say top of A tier at least right now it's probably gonna change in a bit because we're getting to my favorite weapon soon uh, aspect of EOS your Omega attack fires a daybreaker uh, this is the last one I unlocked probably the last one that you will unlock as well because it's it's kind of hard to craft uh, but I'd say this thing is worth it daybreaker is a bit confusing as to how to really strengthen it but it, it essentially creates a clone of you, right? Because it shoots out one of these ghosts that stays on the battlefield and then copies you doing uh, your special attacks. So it's a very, very powerful thing to have, both, I think, in boss fights as well as clearing um, things. But it's not the best room clearing weapon. It's not the best boss killing weapon. But it does both, and it does both very well. So I think it definitely deserves to be in S tier. Uh, I would probably even put it above Cersei. Um, yeah, so let's just do my favorite weapon up next. So, the X, alright? Aspect of Malinois gives you attack power and max life 35. Alright, this is pretty cool. Makes you a little more tanky, makes you do a little more damage. The thing with the weapon is that it is very slow. So you're going to need to get the right upgrades on it. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a very, very beginner-friendly weapon. I would put it in A tier. Not sure where. Let's see. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, above above Momos and above Artemis. It's a very, very uh, new player-friendly weapon. I would suggest you you use this if you use if you want to use uh, a big, hard-hitting weapon, but also be a little tanky yourself it's it's very good nothing wrong with it then we have the aspect of Charon um, let's see aspect of Charon uh, hmm. I'd say because this one your cast stays three seconds longer and it erupts your it erupts by hitting your charged up special on it and it this the size and the damage of it is plus 30 percent if you get like the right boons like a lot of damage on your special then this thing hits like a truck and it will clear everything so it's it's honestly pretty similar in my opinion to the aspect of eos but i'm biased towards it because i like the x playstyle more than the the range type of playstyle so i'm gonna put it on second place right here it's very powerful the aspect of Thanatos also very very powerful I'm going to immediately give this thing 
the top of A tier. I'm not giving it S tier personally because yes, the attack speed on this thing is amazing. That is that is its thing, right? 30% attack speed. Uh, works with most builds. Very good in like a spin to win build as well. Because it also grants uh, mortality when it fills up. And what mortality does is give you a lot more crit chance. So if you're someone like if you use the white antler keepsake or something and you really like crit builds then this is for you uh, I think it's like an S tier worthy weapon but for me I would put it in A tier because I really really don't like uh, crit builds or the, the critical stat in most games but especially in Hades I'm not a big fan of it I never see it do anything for me really and maybe that's just me I don't know but I don't like crits so there we go um, and then the last one would be the skull so the aspect of mal your attacks have more power which each uh, shell that you fire I think this is pretty lackluster so we'll put it in B tier uh, you I don't know it's it's plus 20% per per uh, per shell that you fired but you only have three shells yeah you can upgrade it to like four even then this thing is is super lackluster compared to to many other weapons um, especially if you look at how good the axe is for example which is also a starting aspect it's just it's very underwhelming then let's do the aspect of persephone which is a little bit of a difficult one um, let me let me think how this works exactly again so your omega cast so not not your normal cast but the one you have to charge generates a glory and when that's full your omega move deals more damage 30 percent more damage this is nice and this allows you to basically just become the skull and cruise around while you're you know hitting things on the side of the skull it's pretty nice um i'd say the flaw is that it's only your Omega cast that generates glory because you kinda you're kinda open while channeling that and you get hit so nothing really wrong with it though and it's pretty cool I'd say yeah maybe right about here definitely above things like this but I think it's still under the aspect of Melanoi hmm yeah probably Last one, of course, is what I was talking about earlier, the aspect of Medea, which is mostly used in speedruns right now. This thing is definitely S tier. I'm personally going to put it at the third spot right here, because I'm not very good with it yet. Um, so your attack stays within reach and it explodes after 3 seconds, I believe, or when you hit it. Uh, your attack and special damage is plus 60% so it is a big deal it does a lot of damage uh, I'm putting it at third place because you have to practice this thing this thing takes a lot more practice than like the aspect of Pan or the aspect of Charon because you're not really used to the attack staying in range the other versions of the skull don't do this um, the other versions of the skull kind of focus more on the special especially uh persephone so when it comes to medea you really need to focus on the attack and you just use your specials to pop the attack it's very it's very powerful like i said speedrunners love using this thing but you need to you need to practice with it and you need to set up the right build for it and that's probably the number one weapon in the game right now but yeah uh let me know what you guys think if you would change anything let me know why you would change it and in what tier you would put it and if you want me to do a video talking about the fourth aspect that we might be getting soon of each of these weapons let me know because I have some some theories I have some ideas of which aspects we'll be getting but yeah see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching peace